Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we're going to do something different. Usually, all our videos are related to math and math topics. But today, we're going to learn how to change your simple laptop into an online classroom. And I hope this video will be very useful for the educators and students who are not that familiar with online classrooms. So, Today let's learn how to use the trending application Zoom to run virtual classes. And as usual, please visit our website www.stmathtube.com and you can access to online math tuitions and free math videos. Anyway, let's start. So I'll suggest you take Google or you can type directly in the browser, but I suggest this. So you take Google and type or you take any search engine and type Zoom for Windows or Mac or Android or Ubuntu or Linux or Macbook or whatever depending on the screen you are using. Okay and you choose your OS so I am searching like Zoom for Windows and you can see download for Windows etc download center. Anyway I am using Linux. So I search for Zoom for Linux Mint and the good thing is you can find this in Play Store or you can download the APK file directly. Download Zoom. I did download for Linux. You can download for your corresponding OS. Okay, the main thing. We have the free version and that's the basic version and then the pro version, the business version, the enterprise version. Okay, but it comes with a price. Anyway, for the starting, let's try the free version. Okay, so let's look at the advantages. Okay, the good news, it's free. And you can host up to 100 participants and unlimited one-to-one -one meeting. So look at this, there is something written over here. And that's very important. Even though it's free, um, it's only for 40 minutes. Okay, so now look at this, the most important thing. The person who is hosting the meeting must sign up. You have to sign up, there is no other option. But if you are a student or if you are a participant, or if you are a guest, you don't have to register. All you need is the meeting code of the room and you can just log in. But I'll strongly suggest if you're going to use Zoom again and again and again every day for your classes and all, it's better that you make an account with Zoom. Okay, so they have defined what's a participant and etc etc and look at this good news. A participant does not require a Zoom account in order to join a meeting. Okay, now another important thing. Okay, look at this. Um, Zoom offers a free featured basic plan for free with unlimited meetings. That means if you are doing a one-to-one -one meeting, it's unlimited. And you can use as long as you like. Yeah, I like that part. You can use as long as you like and there is no trial period. But there is a problem uh, if your group meeting has more than three participants together then you will be logged out automatically. So there is some good news and bad news. Anyway let's uh, go ahead with the free one right now. So just sign up so you can do that part. You can put your month, day, etc, etc, etc. But I think some people don't trust Zoom. So in case you don't want to share the details with Zoom, you can just log in with your social sites or your Gmail ID or your email, etc. Just scroll down and you'll see this. Okay, so I love this. I always sign in with my Google account. Or you just create an account here. And I'm sure that's not a big deal. Okay, so once you log in, I hope you made the account and you downloaded those things and so once you log in, 
okay this is your welcome screen and the time will be written the date will be written and you'll be able to see new meeting schedule share screen join you can go through these tools and you, the logout button is over here and contacts meeting chat home okay anyway i use my google account to log into the zoom and now look at this first uh, i want you to click the button contacts i think you can see this plus button and that is where you add the contacts once you click this plus button a window will pop up and you can enter the email id of your contact contact in the sense your students or your friends or your colleagues anyone whom you want to conduct the meeting with and just click the button add contact okay so he will be in your contact list now and now i want you to click the button meeting and you will be provided with a pmi a personal meeting id and you can use that you can what you call share that invitation in social sites in uh, facebook in whatsapp in gmail anywhere you want uh, your guests from and then one really good option that is chat once you click this uh, you will be able to see all your contacts you will be able to see all your contacts and click here and you will be able to talk to them you can leave some message etc etc for example you want to give some assignment etc you can just leave the message there and if they are online they will receive or they will receive the message when they are online now go back to home the main button now let's learn how to start a meeting okay you can see that button right here that new meeting so i want you to click this and once you click this um you'll see a screen like this and if you're using microphone it's really good uh, because the sound quality will be Uh, awesome if you use a microphone but in case you don't have a microphone no need to worry i always use uh, my mobile or laptops inbuilt audio but don't forget to click this otherwise whatever you speak will not be audible to your guest okay so now you are live don't forget you are live so you are already in the meeting room but you are all alone so it's time to invite your guest uh, just click this participants over here and you'll see that invite button so click that invite button and once you click the invite button you'll be able to see all your contacts but before that i want you to take a good look at this you have contacts and you have email so in case you don't have um contacts and you have only email id of your students or friends or guests or colleagues you have to use this button and immediately a window will be prompted and you'll be able to send the meeting password here this is my meeting password for this particular meeting so it will be automatically sent to your friends so you can Uh, ask them to join you can put the time etc etc anyway i prefer this method you collect all the contacts here and you can click on the top of the contact here or here or here for example i want to invite a few students so look at this i selected the first one and once you select that particular person will the name that name will pop up over here if you are using i told you just now in case you are use you want to invite someone who is not in your contact list you can use the email option okay so i selected a few students 1 2 3 4 5 5 and you can see that uh, it's kind of like bluish and one more thing one very important thing suppose you selected someone whom you don't want to select suppose you accidentally selected someone whom you don't want to select and you want to remove that person it's very easy click here you just click here 
this particular name is over here and you can see that that will disappear see so now I have only four contacts selected now all you have to do is click the button invite all you have to do is just click the button invite okay that's it so that's how you invite people to meeting now soon um, what do you call you, the people who whom you invited will be in a waiting room the students or your friends whom you invited they will be in a waiting room waiting for you and you can click the button admit you have to click the button admit to admit them into the room so don't forget that you have to click the button admit otherwise they'll be just waiting in the waiting room okay so now i'll introduce you to a few buttons over here that's very important okay so remember you're live and whatever you speak um what you call maybe 40 maybe 100 maybe 20 maybe 5 they will all hear whatever you talk so in case you get a personal phone call make sure you press this button don't forget to mute otherwise everyone will be listening to your personal phone calls okay so the next one yeah this is something awesome as a teacher i love this because you can share your screen very easily in this application so sometimes as a teacher you want to share your um, slides etc so just use that share button um, I have a warning don't forget you are live so many people are watching you don't forget that maybe you're sitting at your home but remember so many people are watching you you are live so be well prepared with your teaching material way ahead of the meeting in case you don't want to share screen you just want to talk to your students uh, for example you want to talk about world war or you want to talk about some news or you want you're giving an introduction or the history or anything so you want to talk to your students face to face and so don't use this button this button is only when you want to share your teaching material with your students okay and one more very important button suppose you want to close your video just don't forget this button okay now let's learn how to share the screen okay i want you to click this button and now you'll see a mini window see this mini window popped up and in this mini window i'll be able to see everything that is open for example i kept this open and i logged into zoom with google so it's showing you over here and now there's an awesome tool a really 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 awesome tool that's a whiteboard it's really useful for educators and students so just select this so this zoom shareable whiteboard so select this just click it and now you press share now remember once you do this you're sharing the whiteboard with every guest okay right now i am over here the host the person you who is conducting the meeting and you'll see one toolbox and the guest okay so your students will be here and remember uh, your guests can see you and whatever you draw or write on the board okay now this board is very useful for example i want to teach some partial differentiation so i can just write yeah u equal to x square plus y square so the partial derivative is this and the partial derivative with respect to y is 2y and i can easily erase these things there are so many tools over here uh, you can use this draw just click this draw and then you'll be able to write anything you like uh, I'll write the name of my website you can literally write anything you want to show your students uh, for example you're teaching algebra so you can write a quadratic equation and if you want to draw a graph you can do that because you just click this draw and you can draw straight lines you can draw standard pictures etc etc and if you erase if you want to erase something you can use this and remember your students are watching you 
in the sense they can see you here and they can see whatever you write on the board and you can ask them questions and remember this is a shareable board that means even your students can control the board if you give control okay now some teachers don't want to draw or write but they love to type and for such people we have the text button so just click this and a box will pop up and you can type whatever you like and the same thing your students are just watching you and uh, you can browse through all the tools and I'll strongly recommend you do that at least a day before you plan a meeting because always remember you're live and so many people are watching you especially if you're a teacher there'll be like uh, 20 to 40 students so they're all watching you so make sure you're really familiar with the toolbox and the most needed toolbox will be draw and eraser and clear the board okay and now I told you this is a shareable board so you can give the control of the board to others all you have to do is you have to what you call take the cursor over here and you can give control there will be an option to give control so if you want you can give control to others uh, even you can ask your students to share their board but be aware there might be some pranksters in the group so make sure whom you give control to is genuine okay now if you want to exit from this whiteboard just click here that stop share option and that's it you'll be back here and once you're back here you can use the same thing you, uh, you can what you call share screen again and you can take any window you like in case you don't like that whiteboard you want to share your slides with your students you do the same thing click share and it will show you all the windows which are already open and you can show uh, what you call whatever you wish I'll give you one example I ju I'm just sharing another window it's a uh, what you call kind of like word document or a presentation file etc yeah that's it and you click stop share and you'll be back here okay so remember one thing in the free version um, every 40 minutes you'll be automatically logged out so that is one drawback of the free version anyway if you want to end your meeting if you want to say bye to your friends or your students okay the button is over here yeah just click end and in case you want to end the meeting for all you click here and in case you want to leave the meeting and you want your students to discuss something you can use this button and in case you want to cancel of course this button yeah that's it and one very important thing don't forget to log out the button is right over here so click and log out that's it if you find the video useful like share and subscribe and don't forget to visit our website www.sjmattube.com and you can contact us for online math tuitions and for free math videos just log into the website